Welcome to Africa Media Australia. I'm Claude Shirati. Tonight I have with me a gentleman from the South Sudanese Community Association of Victoria. His name is uh, Deng Majak. Deng, how are you today? I'm very well. Deng, we're talking about uh, some of the things that have been happening lately in your association. Uh, apparently there seems to be a split in the leadership. Tell us exactly what is going on. Thanks again for um, calling me to clarify um, what is going on in South Sudanese community in Victoria. First and foremost, um, to make myself known to uh, listeners, uh, my name is Deng al -Majak. I am the sitting secretary general of the South Sudanese Community Association in Victoria. Um, to go to the question, what is happening exactly in our community here in Victoria? Since the day we have got elected into the office uh, back in the March 2018, um, the community has been going under um, a few issues. Uh, it started with outgoing office, um, Kod Mano and his team, Richard Deng. Um, the new leadership and the outgoing leadership could not really find a platform there to, um, to address the issues together. There is no real uh, leadership split. Um, there are issues that uh, happening within few individuals uh, who could not meet the uh, certain criteria within the office and they have been uh, causing some problems. And who are these individuals? Uh, who are these individuals? Um, first, uh, the youth secretary, um, her name is called Ashol Morel, mm -hmm. and the information secretary, his name is called Nyolgrang. And why did they, why, why were they Unhappy. Apparently, they wasn't happy for some reason to start with um, the the mandatory requirement to the office of the South Sudanese community in Victoria. Mm -hmm. um, first requirement: we required all the volunteers within the leadership uh, uh, of the executive of South Sudanese community to submit in their clearances, like police checks and crime history. Uh, and also to submit in the, their qualification of uh, education backgrounds and and skill that they might have gained along the way. Uh, with Ashol Morel in particular, she held the office of the youth and she had been uh, going on with few issues to start with uh, not cooperative uh, teamwork and also it has come to have some problem with the code of conduct and she was given a suspension for a period of three months to to improve her status and also to improve her behaviors. And since we put her in that uh, suspension, she could not really comply. Uh, she went outside claiming the leadership, self-claim leadership from time to time until she reached to what she had said yesterday. Okay, so she wasn't happy about some of the conditions that you put uh, to just, I suppose you wanted to put those conditions to ensure that everybody who was holding office was of a uh, reputable uh, standing and, and, and qualified and competent for what they were expected to do, is that right? Exactly. Um, with her case in particular, she... Um, because you hold a very uh, important post within the community, the force, the force of the youth leadership uh, itself, mm -hmm. it is a role that has to be very well connected with the office and with the liaison of the outsiders. Mm -hmm. And to comply with all those things, each and every one should be uh, a good teamwork, of which I should fail to do it. All right, and then apparently they held a meeting uh, where they invited you in, in initially, the whole of your leadership team, to come, uh, but you didn't want to come. That's her, her version of, of the story. Instead, you sent people to disrupt the, the uh, meeting. Tell us exactly, from your perspective, how things evolved. Well, thanks again. There was no an official meeting in particular with uh, what they have called the General Assembly. Um, according to Constitution, to call a General Assembly, you need to write your names, details and contact the secretary general and submit in your request and you wait for a period of time of 21 days to be respond uh, to meet the criteria i have to be very careful um, to go and have the close checklist with all the requirements that's uh, being um, set out to meet the constitutional needs 
uh, Ashola and her group, they have uh, called out a general assembly in a very animous way. Uh, they could not display their names. There's no proper addresses. All the email was sent out from a very uh, unknown account. We treated it as scams. And apparently they came out on the 11th of uh, August to call out the meeting of which most of our supporters from overall, they went inside to see who are these people and to ask them who is sharing the meeting itself, that was a question. Mm -hmm. Seeing the leadership of the South Sudanese community could not verify who are these people, mm -hmm. that was a problem. Okay, um, and then that meeting uh, was, uh, I suppose, ended. Apparently they held another meeting where they didn't invite you and they didn't disclose where they were meeting, and that's where they apparently sort of, to use their own term, they impeached the uh, president, the, the, the chairperson, along with uh, uh, the uh, secretary, is that, is that you? Yes. And, and another, another person. Tell us more about that, if you know anything. Well, um, that was a joke. Um, there was a group of 15 people meeting in somewhere undisclosed area, and they could not meet the requirement of concentration to hold a general assembly or to impeach people by the way, we are a non-profitable organization of which the term impeachment doesn't apply mm -hmm. to, to our status here. Ashola and her group, they are um, all outlaws that we could term them in that way. They are also known as grant huntings of which they always want to fight where they can get the grants and then they should just um, you know, direct them into their pockets. You cannot hold a general meeting to uh, overthrow elected uh, official of the association. We were elected by more than 2,300 people, registered members. Uh, those who were sitting on, the, on that night, some of them were not uh, financial members and they, sh they, they don't have right to, to, uh, to, to, to call a board of no confidence on us. Okay. Uh, so how has your chairperson and the rest of your team reacted to this uh, apparently impeachment, quote unquote. Look, we treat it as um, a void. Um, it's a nonsense. Uh, it's a something that we don't want to give it a bit of weight. It's, it didn't meet um, all the needs. Uh, we are very careful here. Um, even if it's one person calling us to respond into certain things, we'll be obliged to respond to it. But it has to come through of, um, of our professional. What would you like to be able to, to, to say to the rest of the members who are quite worried? I was on the uh, uh, Facebook's social media. Obviously, this sort of thing doesn't help the community, does it? Look, I'm here to, to call upon our community members in Victoria. We are sick and tired of uh, divisions. Uh, it's, it's not in our intention to have this division to occur. It is something that a very small group of people want to cause a curse among the members here and everyone is aware of it. So um, the leadership here is working as normal. Uh, myself, I'm doing my business as normal. So whatever has been going on here, it is a void. Uh, we want to tell our people, don't be um, scared of whatever going on here. We're not going to allow it. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, we're going to call overall General Assembly to brief our people. Now. Uh, I see you got quite a bit of documentation here. What what sort of point were you going to make with, with this? Okay, thanks. Um, the documentation in front of me here, there are a few of uh, correspondent that has um, um, started since the day we were elected. Mm -hmm. uh, after we got elected on the 10th of, um, of March, on the 15th of March, uh, the outgoing chair, uh, Mr. Kod Manu, mm -hmm. Um, went into consumer press himself and changed the secretary uh, without authorization and he put in a name, an individual called John Moreau. A hawk name, someone never exists in our community. And this is the start of the, the genesis of, um, of the crisis. Okay. Yes. So you think uh, somehow the previous 
administration, court uh, and, and Deng and, and his, his group uh, uh, have played some part into what is happening now? Exactly. Why, why would they do that? Uh, why would they do this? It's like because they are very um, delusionaries. They live in their own world. They think that um, they are custodian of the association and they don't want to give opportunity for others to come in and do their part to contribute in building this association and take it forward. Uh, Cord himself, he changed the secretary of the association into a hog name, a fake name, someone called John Moro, of which uh, when I went into to uh, register myself as the elected se uh, secretary, mm -hmm. I was surprised uh, to find someone being registered on 15 of March after we got elected on um, after we got elected after five days after our election and the reason is um, he was trying to um, to play with handing over so he registered as a hog name and he being like not trying to hand over the documents until now we're still fighting over some asset of the association after four months of our election Okay, and how that, that connects with uh, uh, Acho, Marial, and, and uh, her team? Her team? Um, yes, uh, it's a good question though. Acho, Marial, and her team, they are uh, proxies of God Mano and Richard Deng, and um, someone else called Byung Deng. Uh, Acho, Marial, by the way, um, she's been working on direction of these individuals. Uh, of which they try to use a shawl as a cover and they are working behind the scenes. I see. Or now, many of your members uh, within the broad South Sudanese community would want to see you conciliate. I mean, they would want to see some sort of conciliation happening uh, so that you put this division behind, move forward and work for the betterment of the community. Because with all the uh, uh, negative media attention that your community has attracted and continues to uh, attract, this obviously t doesn't quite help. Would you be willing, perhaps, and I did ask this question to Acho, uh, to get some sort of conciliation with elders or any dispute resolution services? Um, look, uh, the leadership of uh, South Sudanese Community Association in Victoria is very committed to uh, work toward the unity of our people. Um, we don't have uh, a division in community. These are individuals that are fighting for for their own interests, self-interest, and they're trying to use uh, social media as a way to, um, to create um, uh, attention, so I wish to make people aware that there is something going on. Uh, yes, we don't deny uh, they have created that tension, but in, the, in fact, we don't have a division in our community. Uh, we are responsible to maintain, and our aim is to keep the community united. Talking of social media, I saw today a document uh, posted, I think by uh, Achol Marial, showing that money has been withdrawn from the association's account, quite a large sum of money, uh, only very recently. What, what, what's your response to that? Look, um, the leadership of the, of the association is responsible. Uh, we are accountable and we know what to do. Uh, they are uh, intruding into account and and find out all those uh, uh, fake news and lies is a source of this uh, is is actually the source of what they want to get into it. They want to get their hand into money, so the money has been put into somewhere safe. 